Hello everyone, welcome to GoVM Lab. In this lecture, we will talk about one of the very basic issue of vSphere infrastructure where we try to add a ESXi host to vCenter server and that host addition operation fails. Now this is one of the very common issues we have seen in many of the environment where administrator are trying to add ESXi host to vCenter server and host addition keep failing. So let's go and look at that particular issue and let's see that what could be the probable reasons because of which vCenter does not allow us for adding a host to vCenter server. So with that, let's get started. So now let's log into our vCenter server. Our vCenter server FQDN is sbvcsa02.lab.local. So let's log into our vCenter server. Let's click on launch vSphere client. Let's provide the credentials of our user so it's administrator at the rate of vmware.local vmware.local we have taken it up as a sso domain let's provide the password of your vcenter server so now as you could see that we are successfully logged into our vcenter server and if you look at the name of that vcenter server it is sbvcsa02.lab.local and we do have one data center created named as SA data center. And if you really see that there is no host is being added to this vCenter server because we have not added any host to it. So now what we will try to do, we'll try to add a host to this vCenter server. So what is that host we are going to add to that vCenter server? So that host name is SSB esxi-01 dot lab dot look so this is one of our esxi host sb esxi-01 dot lab dot local and this particular host we are trying to add to this vcenter server click on next let's provide the credentials of this esxi host click on next click on next we don't have a license so let's go with the evaluation license click on next click on next and then finish now look at that what it says that now you might have noticed that your host went into disconnected state and then it again disappeared from here right which means that host is not added to this vcenter server let's look at the recent task pane and let's see that if we get some information about this failure and if you really see that what it says that we are trying to add a standalone host to this particular data center but now look at the status the status says that specified parameter was not correct now it's saying that specified parameter was not correct which means that we try to give some incorrect value while adding host to that vcenter server now what is that parameter we try to give it in an incorrect way if we had given the wrong password then it, it would have thrown us error right there itself but it doesn't look to be a password specific issue so let's go and look at the task section of our vcenter server and let's try to get more information about this failure so this is the error what we have seen in the task pin also so now let's try to look at this particular problem and what it says that it says that we are trying to add a standalone host the status says that a specified parameter was not correct the info and product version now it says that info and product version was not correct so that is something we should be looking at it that what is the product version esxi host is having it who has initiated this request that is a vmware.local and now everything else looks good so if you really see that here what has happened we try to add a host to this particular vc and vcenter server try to add this particular host to the data center but because of this particular error what do you see that the host again got removed from your vcenter server so that's what pretty much this failure is all about it now before we go and try to look around this particular failure let's try to see that what about the network reachability is that because there was some fluctuation in the network or maybe because of which vcenter server could not establish connectivity to your esxi host so now before looking at the other problem of this particular issue let's go and check out the network connectivity between these two components vcenter server and esxi host so let's log into our vcenter server so as you could see that we are logged into our vcenter server so let's 
generate a ping to sb esxi-01 dot lab dot local and look at that the ping is working which says that there is no issue with the network reachability from vcenter server to esxi host and let's log into our esxi host as well and let's make sure that esxi host is also able to ping to your to our to ping to our vcenter server and if we really see that our esxi host is also able to ping to our vcenter server so one thing is pretty clear that there is no connectivity issue between your esxi host and vcenter server so the next step what we have to do we have to look at this error statement and the error statement says that this particular issue is coming because of the product version so now let's log in let's so now let's check out our vcenter server version what is installed here so let's click on let's click on host and clusters let's click on vcenter server scroll down and look at that what it says that your vcenter server version is 6.7.0 which means that our vcenter server version is 6.7.0 and that is the the build what we have installed right so that is our vcenter server version let's go and check out our esxi host version so let's log into our esxi host so this is our esxi host let's run the command vmware hyphen v and look at that the version of esxi host is 7.0.3 which means that our vcenter server version is 6.7 whereas our esxi host version is 7.0 now that could be one of the reason why we are not able to add a host to the vcenter server the reason is that our esxi host version which is 7.0.3 is higher than vcenter server version which is 6.7 and it's a well known fact that whenever your esxi host version is higher than your vcenter server who is managing that esxi host vcenter server will not allow you to add a host so that could be one of the reason why vcenter server is not allowing us to add this particular esxi host 7.0 esxi host to our vcenter server now we do have one of other esxi host of 6.7 version so let's try to add that esxi host and before we go and add this esxi host let let's log into that esxi host as well and validate its version before adding it to this vcenter server so as you could see that we are trying to log in to that esxi host let me change the font size so now let's run the command vmware hyphen v and look at that now this is our another esxi host sb esxi 03 and this esxi host is having a version as 6.7.0 and this version is exact same as our vcenter server version so let's go and try to add this particular host to our vcenter server and let's see that does that vcenter server allow adding this 6.7 host or not so let's give the name sb esxi03 dot lab dot local let's provide the credentials of this particular esxi host click on next accept the certificate click on next click on next and click on finish and let's look at the recent task pane and we do see that a host addition is in progress and look at that now if you really see that a host has been successfully added to our vcenter server so now you could see that a host has been successfully added to our vcenter server and this particular host version is 6.7.0 whereas this vcenter server version is 6.7.0 so which means that you always have to remember that the esxi host what we are trying to add to our vcenter server its version should be either equal to the vcenter server or should be lesser than vcenter server you can never add esxi host having a higher version than your vcenter server so if you wanted to add this esxi host having a 7.0 version then we have to make sure that our vcenter server should be having the equal version or the higher version of the build then only we'll be able to this particular host to vcenter 
server. So now this concludes our discussion on one of the very basic issue I'm sure you might have come across in your vSphere day-to-day -day activities where when we try to add a host to vCenter server, we do see sometimes the vCenter server does not allow adding a host having a higher version than what vCenter server is having.